Hello, today you are starting your journey with Morrisby to help you plan your future. By completing a Morrisby assessment, you will learn more about yourself and the types of careers you could be suited to. A Morrisby profile assessment consists of a series of aptitude assessments, a personality assessment and an interest-based questionnaire. Once completed, you will be able to view your results which provide objective information about your underlying aptitudes, which are your strengths and potential, your working preferences, motivations and personality. We use these results to generate tailored career and subject suggestions, providing you with an online account to view, favourite, bin and research further into your preferred career and subject choices. You can also conduct apprenticeship and higher education searches linked to your preferred careers and subjects. As careers and interests change constantly over time, you also have a login for life. Your first step on the journey is to sign up on the Morrisby website using the code given to you by your school. Once the sign up process is complete, you will answer the aptitude assessments, a short interest based questionnaire and a personality assessment. The answers you give will help us create your profile. Let's have a look at what to expect when answering the assessments and questionnaires. Once you have input your personal details, you will be greeted with a profiler page which shows the assessments you will be taking, the length of time they will take and their status. The assessment will take between 100 and 120 minutes to complete. Garbage in equals garbage out. So the validity of the results and therefore the value they will be later can be impacted by the approach you take. So make sure you work without being disturbed or distracted so you can concentrate and do your best. Exam conditions are ideal. It is important not to underestimate the aptitude assessments, the time tests. Although these tests will seem easy to begin with, that is in their nature, they will get gradually more difficult. Candidates are also not expected to finish the aptitude tests in the time allowed, nor can they skip to the next test if they finish with time remaining. So it's important you don't rush or start answering randomly just to get to the end of the test, as there is no benefit in doing so. For the other sections, such as the practice questions and questionnaires, they are all untimed. We do know when you have rushed and randomly answered, and this will be recorded on your profile. So to get the best, most accurate results to help you decide on your future, please follow the advice I have just given. Let's take a little look at what to expect on each part of the assessment. Firstly, verbal reasoning, parts one and two. This measures the ability to use words. It does not directly measure knowledge of English, but it is designed to identify potential for dealing with verbal information. It is useful for occupations where the written or spoken word is needed. Secondly, numerical reasoning, parts one and two. It measures the ability to use numbers. It is not a measure of mathematical ability. Instead, it is designed to highlight a comfort or intuitive insight when using numbers or data. It is useful for commercial and quantitative occupations. Thirdly, abstract reasoning, part one and two. It measures the ability to deal with complex problems. It can also include or indicate a preference for dealing with real things and visual information such as charts, diagrams and pictures. It may be useful for mathematical and scientific research. Your school may also have opted for you to take the spatial and mechanical ability assessment. The spatial ability assessment measures how easily we understand the spatial arrangement between objects. It relates to how well we can visualise 3D objects from 2D plans and is useful where the focus of attention is on the real world or graphical representations. Associated with design, architecture, as well as engineering, technology, science, construction, manufacturing, driving, and a myriad of crafts. The mechanical ability assessment looks at our ability to use the concepts of mechanics and the physical interaction of objects to understand and solve practical problems. Such problems also frequently crop up in everyday life. It is about me mechanical insight rather than learned principles. Associated with engineering and technology, but it also comes into play in many other careers which involve physical objects. You will also take the attitudinal measures, which include personality, aspirations, 
priorities and study interest questionnaires and assessments. The personality assessment is based on the Myers-Briggs type indicator assessment and looks at your personality in the workplace. The aspirations questionnaire takes about 10 minutes to complete and looks at what interests you, categorising your answers into people, information or things. It also discovers any specialist interests you might have, such as music, sport, art, languages or performance. The priorities questionnaire is an optional questionnaire and can be accessed in your profile once the main profiling is complete. It looks at what is important to you in a career. It has an eight scale round robin questionnaire, which looks at your interests in security, respect, contribution, social, interest, rewards, leisure and mobility. The study interest questionnaire is also optional and can be accessed from your profile once you've completed the main profiling. It is useful for students who would like to go on to higher education as it takes their answers and closely suggests subjects they would enjoy. The next step is to sign up at morrisby.com using the code given to you by your teacher and begin to answer the assessments and questionnaires. Before you sign up on the main site, make a note of any career ideas you have so that you can compare your ideas with the careers we suggest. We hope you find your assessment results and the information on the website helps you with your choices for the future. Thank you for listening.